Hornbill Festival, a landmark in global tourism industry promoted as the Festival of Festivals, is a 10-day annual tribal cultural extravaganza. Come December and all roads lead to Kohima, the capital of Naglen where the Hornbill Festival is held at Kisama Heritage Village, just under 15 km away from the city. Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Hornbill Festival of Vet Tourism. We have a variety of experiences that awaits your visit. The star attraction being the pony rides by people of all ages and hues. Experience the thrill of riding and fun of pony carts with friends and family. The Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services promoting its own brand of veterinary tourism and newly organizes pony rides during the Hornbill Festivals at its pony farm a kilometer nearby Hornbill Festival main site. A photo opportunity for down memory lane, an experience to be shared and cherished. Even the camera shy is tempted to give the best pause of a lifetime. When you are done with fun and frolics of pony rides, yet craving for more thrills and adrenaline, the adventurers can opt for a visit to nearby villages for an encounter with the majestic state animal, the boss frontalis or locally called the Mithun. Did you know? Mithun is believed to have originated some 8,000 years ago and is found in altitudes ranging 1,000 to 3,000 meters. It is also called, therefore, Cattle of the Mountain. And ownership is considered to be a sign of prosperity and superiority of individuals in society. Mithun plays an important role in the socio-economic and cultural life of the local tribal population. The tribes have many legends and anecdotes for the curious ears. They are exchange for purchase of land, paying tribute and even for the price of a bride. The magnificent and massive Mithun is reared under free-range condition in the hill forests. The Tenyi Vo breed was certified by the BRC ICAR on June 21, 2016. The native Naga pig or Tenyi Vo, as it is called locally, is found in the areas of the districts of Pek, Twensang, and Kohima in Naglen. The name Tenyi Vo literally translates as pig from Angami. Among the Sumi tribe, it is called Suho and amongst the Lotha tribe, it is known as Voto. <laughs> 
Tuto cattle are indigenous to Naglen and are medium in size, hardy, well-built and docile. Body color is predominantly black. Bulls are darker in color. Tuto cattle are available in all districts of Naglen. Animals are well adapted to hilly region and able to graze on hill slopes even during rainfall. These native breeds have better heat and disease tolerance quality. Besides, they can thrive with low investment and significantly contribute to the rural society. Sumini, also called the long-haired goat for its long silky hair which is used by local people for making traditional items with socio-cultural significance, is rare free-range by Sumi tribes of Naglen. The goat hair obtained from the Sumini goats has high commercial utility because it is used for beautification purpose in garments, ornaments and weaponry. The hair is processed locally and dyed using organic color extracted from plants and flowers. The sturdy goat with white color and black patches coat is estimated 8,000 population only, limiting to Zunaboto and Twensan districts and reared mainly by the Sumi tribe. It is registered in the name Sumini as the 28th goat breed of the country. Although these goats are known in the literature as Naglen long haired goat or long hair Naglen goat. And when you are satiated with your vet tourism discovery and adventures, those physically fit and healthy may want to further explore the famed Zuku Valley, a moderate trek in paradise and nature at its best for a soothing and calming ethereal quietness where the air is fresh and invigorating, just the right portion for the soul. <laughs> Well, there is always a place for family outdoors as well, and that too, an amazing one. A little drive to the one and only sheep farm is a perfect getaway from the crowds, safe in the gentle meadows for kids to play and enjoy nature, while the adults relax. Besides, the grazing folk of sheep are a delight to watch. They are woolly, snuggly and bouncy, and they are responsible for some of the greatest stuff on earth. Yes, the comfiest of socks, the warmest of sweaters, and some of the best cheese too. Yeah, you can try and hug a sheep too. <laughs> 